with electricity prices rising again in July and the national rebate finally launching, home batteries are quickly becoming a game changer for all Aussies. Knowing how to buy a battery in Australia the right way can still be tricky. This guide will walk you through everything you need to know about a home battery, how does it work, what size to choose, how it's installed and how to find the perfect system for your home and budget. Home batteries store excess solar energy during the day, so you can use it at night when your power company starts charging those sneaky peak demand rates. What used to cost you 30 cents per kilowatt hour can now jump to over 50 cents per kilowatt hour at night time. On top of that, batteries can provide power backup during blackouts, give you peace of mind and greater independence from the grid. Now, let's check off the main three boxes whether or not batteries are going to suit you. Do you use electricity at night time? Do you have solar or plan to install it? And do you have space to install the battery safely? Look, that's really you need to get started. Because of how affordable batteries have become, the rebate, the average payback, sits between four to six years, making it one of the best investments available on the market right now. Other questions like, do I need blackout protection or should I go off grid? These come later. During the sizing stage and off grid options are available, but they're not the starting point for most homes. During the day, your solar panels generate energy. What you don't use immediately is sent to the battery. At night, your home pulls from the battery. They pull from it first, and so it reduces what you need to pull from the grid. If your battery fills up, excess energy goes to the grid. If it runs out, you draw from the grid. Pretty simple. Most homeowners in 2025 choose lithium ion batteries, especially LFP. LFP are safe, affordable, widely available, and they come with warranties of 10 to 20 years. You might have heard of other batteries like lead acid in your car or nickel cobalt lithium. These are older technologies and LFP don't actually have unethically sourced cobalt or nickel and manganese. So what battery do you want? You've got to figure out how long you want it for black backup, how big is your solar system, and how big your nighttime energy usage is, and any future EVs that you might be adding soon. Let's walk through an example. Say your electricity bill shows you that you're using consuming 20 kilowatt hours per day, and 75% of that is at night time, because you're out during the day, you'd install a seven kilowatt solar system. This produces around an average across the year of about 25 kilowatt hours. And you use five kilowatt hours of that during the day. This leaves a 20 kilowatt hour surplus at night time, perfect for charging a battery. So if a seven kilowatt system and a 20 kilowatt hour battery, if you had that, that's gonna be an ideal fit for that home. Let's say you wanted to get an EV and typical EVs are about 40 kilowatt hours in total. And if you want to charge it up about 10%, it's going to be about four kilowatt hours. Then you need to increase your solar size by about one kilowatt. And because it charges it for about four, four hours or four kilowatt hours. And if you charge it during the day, you won't need to get a battery. But if you want to add a, if you want to actually put a bigger battery on at your home to charge the car battery, you'd need to put a four kilowatt hour battery on top of that 20 kilowatt hours. How big your battery should be depends on four things. Do you want battery backup and how long for? How big is your current solar system? What's your nighttime electricity usage? And are you planning to buy an EV or other large energy usage or consumers soon? So let's walk through a typical example. Say your electricity bill shows you use 20 kilowatt hours per day and 75% of that is at nighttime because you're out during the day, you know, you're at work. Um, you install generally a seven kilowatt solar system. This will produce around 25 kilowatt hours per day, which you use five kilowatt hours of the daytime, which leaves 20 kilowatt hours surplus for charging a battery for nighttime. So a seven kilowatt system and a 20 kilowatt hour battery would be the ideal fit and solution for you. Let's say you want to get an EV. A small EV has about a 40 kilowatt hour battery and you can charge generally about 10-20% during the day, which means 4 to 8 kilowatt hours. 
you'd need to increase your solar system by one or two kilowatts and your battery by four to eight kilowatt hours to be able to charge that 10 or 20 percent now for help or any battery calculators on our website simply go to the link in the description to size up your battery there are two common approaches to installing batteries themselves retrofitting which uses AC coupling adding a battery to your existing solar system or DC coupling which you can install the solar PV and the inverter and battery at the same time before anything is installed your installer will complete a site inspection they'll look exactly where the battery will go whether it's on a wall needs a fire protection they need slabs ventilation in the garage or driveways physical barriers um, and anything mandatory in specific states the battery is securely mounted and connected to your inverter and switchboard and if necessary you might need other component trees like meters or other inverters everything is configured to ensure smooth operation between your solar panels and the battery at home and to the grid your installer will test charging discharging ver verify safety protections and ensure compliance with Australian standards you'll also have a monitoring app on the inverter to track everything in real time that your battery is charging or discharging your solar is producing not all batteries provide backup so if you have blackout protection you need to flag this with your installer and set up a critical load circuit typically powering your fridge lights and other essentials during outages battery systems require minimal maintenance but it's smart to do an annual checkup just to avoid any warranty issues you can monitor all this performance on your app showing the storage generation usage and grid exports make sure you receive your warranty documents and compliance certificates understand how to shut down your system and log in ensure any installer quote that you receive are accredited so your system's compliant and you're eligible for all rebates installing a battery in 2025 is the best decision investment and for a greener better outcome you become less dependent on the grid and unpredictable energy prices are you ready to take the next step? Visit www.australianbatteryquotes.com.au and get three free quotes from our trusted local installers.